Hey everyone, and welcome to a special Prismic edition. Today I'm going to guide you through all the improvements that we have done to develop our experience. New features, new tools, like we've made a lot of work to make your work way more productive and enjoyable. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to Prismic, I need to first introduce you to Slice Machine. Slice Machine is the tool that you will use to create slices and model them, then update them. Slices are website components that you can reuse from one project to another and that your marketing team would use to compose pages. When you build a slice in Prismic, what you'll do is that you will first model it, then preview the changes that you have and preview your code, and then push it to the website builder. Let me guide you now through the process of creating a hero slice like this one. With Slice Machine, you start by structuring your slice. So here I'm going to create first a slice by clicking on create slice, create the hero, and then model it, meaning adding the different fields that you need for your marketing team to update the content. If I look at that hero slice, I need a title. So I'm going to add a title. I need a description. So I'm going to add some rich text to the description. I need a few buttons. And so for that, I'm going to add the links. And I need an image. Once this is done, I now need to update my code to make it dynamic and using the content coming from Prismic. Let's jump into the code. First, you can see that Slice Machine already created a boilerplate slice for me. It's encouraging me to use the MCP. We'll see that later. But uh, I can now start updating the code. For that, I'm going to use the snippet that Slice Machine proposed to me. Because Slice Machine already knows the technology that I'm using, being Next, Next, or Svelkit, I can then just copy and paste. And then I get now a code that is ready and that is getting dynamic content from Prismic. How can I see that? You can click on the simulate button just here, which will open that hero slice and allow me to preview it and also start to play with the content. My hero slice is now ready and I can push it to my marketing team in the page builder so that they can start using that hero slice when creating pages. That's how Slice Machine works, in a sense. You create slice, you ship it to the page builder, the marketing team then can start using it and compose pages with those slice. That's simple. Already on that process, you've seen new things because we've been heavily focusing on improving the content modeling, meaning having fields that are actually simple to create rich content. So as you might have seen, we've used the link field, which was the field for which we have passed a lot of improvement because we're very often, like in the slides that we've built, we need different types of buttons or different types of links. You need a primary CTA, a secondary CTA, you, make them, you need to make them repeatable. All that in Prismic before was very complex and now it's as simple as clicking that button that is saying repeatable here so that you can have multiple buttons, allowing to have a link text, a link label, and uh, allowing to have uh, what we call labels, which you will be able to use to specify if it's a primary type of uh, link, a secondary one. And that's what you will leverage in your code to display, uh, depending on your design system, if it's a primary button or a secondary button. Link is only one field dot, which we have passed improvement. We've done that for images and we create a new field, a very important one, that is the table field. Let's, let's look at it right now. Tables were not a first class citizen in Prismic before and is now supported natively in the tool. And what does it mean natively supported? It means that you can now create a slice. Let's do it now, a table slice, for which you would add a field table. Once this is done, you will be able to use uh, our native React and view component to actually render a table so easily in a slice by just clicking the snippet, importing the component and updating your code. Look at this. This is particularly interesting if you are using Prismic to work on com corporate communication and you need to share your numbers each quarter. If you are building a documentation for which you need to have a structured table and structured information or any blog post where you are building a comparison table typically. These upgrades are testifying of our commitment to improve the overall content modeling to make both the life of content editor easier and the life of developer way more productive by supporting native cases and not having to have different workarounds to manage such cases. Those content modeling upgrades are great, but they are also foundational. Foundational for our vision of what developer tools should be for Prismic. We wanted always Prismic to be the most enjoyable and productive CMS to work with for you devs. And so that's why we created Slice Machine, trying to make the wiring to the CMS almost invisible by initializing the project and connecting it with your repo, by providing those code snippets, by generating boilerplate slices, as you seen in the demo. But we now go even further, allowing you to focus on what you do and like best, creating beautiful designs and animation. Let me show you the same process that we've been through with our new features, screenshot to slice. We've just created a hero section with a title, description, button, and image. And as you've seen, I needed to click on different buttons, set up the field name, all these kinds of stuff. This is now gone by using the screenshot to slice feature. I can click now. Drop a screenshot of my slice and Aurea is going to understand exactly what you're trying to build and generate for me automatically a model. 
that model is ready. And I can now start coding the slice. I can use a snippet, as we've seen before, but I can even go faster by using a Prismic MCP and use my favorite editor, in my case, cursor, to ask it, okay, now code the slice, please. What the MCP is providing to our AI agent and our AI editor is context to understand how to code that slice appropriately. It also analyzes your coding preference so that the slice actually fits your guidelines, fit the technology that you use, and integrates perfectly in your existing code. It's now ready. As you can see, it's using my favorite technology, my favorite way of building CSS, and even my preference when it comes to indentation between tabs and spaces, typically. As you can see, the slice is already coded and it's dynamic, but the design is not present because we think it's where you provide the most value and what you enjoy most. So it's now your turn to actually leverage your tools and your knowledge to build perfectly crafted design and animations. All those updates have a big impact in your developer experience. And we believe that we can make most of the wiring and the connection with the CMS invisible. But sometimes you still need the documentation. And so we've reworked it totally to make it way, way clearer. The search is front and center. And we also introduce a dark mode for your late night coding. On top of it, we've reviewed all the guides for the different technology, Next, Nuxt, and Svelkit. By the way, supporting your favorite framework is key to provide you a good experience with Prismic and Slice Machine. And we now support Nuxt 4, meaning all the starters, all the templates, all the snippets, and even the migration are made simple thanks to this support. That's a wrap for Prismic Developer Experience Improvement for 2025. If you want more details and if you want to know more, we have dedicated video for each of those features. And see you soon for our next Chronicle.